because there, there was a point where I thought maybe I should just like delete my channel and like hide because I was really scared but hey guys welcome to my channel I'm Jess if you enjoy shopping and handbag videos please like and subscribe to my channel and thanks guys to you have who have subscribed lately I really really appreciate it I'm almost at 3,000 subs so thank you thank you so much and um, I thought I would just touch a little bit on uh, a topic that it's is like I guess on my Instagram and YouTube at the moment which is uh, Tamara Kalanick's robbery now uh, well, now when I heard about this I saw it on Instagram and I was like I thought it was like false news at first but a lot of the comments were like oh my gosh this is what happens when you post all your luxury goods on social media and this is why you shouldn't like you know I don't know have so many nice things like people were saying really mean things like this and I was just like oh my gosh like this is devastating because I remember when I, I used to watch Tamara maybe five or so years ago and you know she was kind of building her luxury collection and you know to see her so many years later like being offered Birkins and Kelly's it's just like a crazy contrast and it made me it kind of made me think oh my gosh anything is possible like in five years I could be like that like you know how your brain goes you know goes into fantasy land sometimes but to see her for, go from I guess you know this big glorious like handbag collection and you know she had some diamond watches and that sort of thing I don't really know much about watches but from what I know like getting jewelry and like watches stolen from you it could be even more costly than like handbags and they're you know Rolexes and that sort of thing are is equally hard to get as like Birkins and Kelly's and uh, yeah I, I don't know guys I need to do more research about watches and I don't necessarily want to get into it but I remember like yesterday I was asking my boyfriend I'm like oh would you ever want like a Rolex and he's like uh like maybe like I don't know and he's like oh, no I don't really care and I was like well if I was gonna get a watch I would get this and I showed him a, a Van Cleef Arpels um watch which I, I I don't know I think it's it's I, I noticed it a few years ago and when I saw it I was like that is the cutest watch but it's basically like these lovers like going over a bridge and they meet in the middle middle and they kiss and I thought oh my gosh that is so cute I want to get that and when I researched the price guys in Australian dollars like the basic model is two hundred thousand dollars and I was like oh my gosh because I really wanted the one with like the diamond band which I'm sure guys is probably like a million dollars so yeah when you get into watches and fine jewelry guys it's a whole other ball game so getting those things stolen is quite traumatic so I really feel for Tamara there this puts things into perspective for most of us I don't think handbags the amount of handbags equal how successful you are necessarily and although she has you know I guess at this point in her life had the most you know lavish handbag collection and fine jewelry and whatever um you know these are just things and I think in terms of her personal growth she's probably grown even more than you know the items that she possesses and you know she's so successful now she works in the fashion industry which was her dream you know she used to work at a pharmacist um, and you know she only dreamed to do me doing what she's doing now so even though she's had all her things taken away I think that where these things got her to where she is is what is more important and she can always build her designer collection again I'm sure she's doing quite well and Hopefully her things were insured and that sort of thing. But it did make me feel really stressed for myself because I was putting my, you know, you naturally put yourself in someone else's shoes. And I thought, oh my gosh, what if all my things got stolen? I mean, I'm putting all my things, you know, on social media to an extent. Um, and, you know, I do have insurance, which is good. But even so, no one wants to be robbed and you know it's a very scary thing and even if you don't own luxury bags you don't want to be robbed um so yeah that did make that did scare me guys and it did also put me off maybe buying too many more expensive bags because yeah just the thought of losing them I mean it, it's it's kind of like frustrating living like that though I don't like living in a way thinking I'm gonna have all my things stolen because then you can't really enjoy your life either just enjoy things while they're with you because anything you own guys in your life you're not going to have it forever anyway you will die one day or you know maybe it, it could get ruined like you could take it out one day and you know you could spill I don't know acid all over it for some reason or you know everything you know in terms of possessions and that sort of thing is temporary anyway so 
yeah but it did make me think a lot guys because you know a lot of my time and effort I do put into you know thinking about bags and buying bags and that sort of thing and to have them all just taken away like that it makes you think like wow like <laughs> it's really crazy and and maybe you know going forward I still want to buy bags and that sort of thing but I could be putting my money towards things that could grow me more as well and maybe grow my success more because I think at the moment I am using my bags to some sort of good because I am kind of making content about them and I think you guys find it interesting to an extent but I think I would also love to put my money towards you know a new business idea or even I don't know buying a house or something that could grow me more in the future and yeah I guess it just makes you think about you know where you should put your money and I think someone like Tamara who is seems like she's quite wealthy this robbery it's going to impact her, I think, mentally, but I think she could definitely accumulate a designer collection again over the years, and I'm sure she will be offered Birkins and Kellys again in the future. So, yeah, it is an eye-opener for, I guess, everyone, but it also puts into perspective, I guess, what you find important in life. And, you know, if you did lose everything, it's not, you know, it's not going to be over, guys. You still have kind of grown in your life and you, ha you no one can ever steal away your success or, you know, other things that you've achieved in your life. So, yeah, I still see her as equally, you know, amazing now, you know, whether she has a Birkin or she doesn't have a Birkin. So it doesn't really matter. It's just, yeah. It's crazy how she just got all her stuff taken away. I think it was kind of sad how people were blaming her for being robbed. Like, you know, she should have, you know, been more careful about, you know, showing her things on social media and like vlogging about when she was out and stuff. But like, it's no, it's never anyone's fault for being robbed. Like, you should never blame someone for being robbed. Like, you can get robbed on the street. Like, I mean, there have been times where I went to Europe, like this was in Europe, especially in Europe, it is, you know, getting things stolen is pretty common. When I went to Europe, my friend got her iPhone her iPhone stolen right out of her hands. I got, I actually got money stolen as well when I was in Europe because I don't know, there's a lot of scams and that sort of thing. And yeah, it's just, it's just the way it is, sadly. And there are a lot of desperate people out there trying to get your things. And that's just what happens in life, sadly. And it's not fair, but yeah, I guess it does make us reflect on ourselves a little bit as well. So anyway, guys, did Tamara's kind of um, robbery change the way you think about luxury? Because yeah, there was a point where I thought maybe I should just like delete my channel and like hide because I was really scared. But I don't know. Now looking back, I'm thinking like, you know, they're just things. And obviously, I don't want to be robbed. But we can't live in fear all the time either. So yeah anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye